you know oh that was a great crack that's a crunch oh hey everyone so i am back in my kitchen and still very gay which can only mean one thing we are filming another episode of filcina my nancy boy weirdly sticking with our weekly timeline for the world's favorite cooking show with the best name and half decent food but that's not the point of this today we are going to be making another multi staple and a lot of you guess different things which make sense seasonally i don't do that makes sense i'm only doing that i feel like eating that i miss from back home so today we will be making galette for this recipe my nana didn't send over any like secret concoctions which make far too many figoli just to show you the flipper that's my face i have a huge face so this time we'll be following a recipe from a maltese page called cheat ch eat whatever they have loads of really cool recipes they don't have a video on this one which is why i'm okay doing it because i'm not just going to copy someone else's video but they do have all the instructions written down so we're going to try do that for this you will need dry yeast, sugar, flour, roughly 700 grams, excellent starting off with approximations which is going to make my life extremely difficult, salt, pepper, butter and water. Seems simple enough, they are by the way for people who don't know what galetti are, the Maltese ones are so good, here you might call them water biscuits or water crackers but it doesn't encapsulate how good galetti are so hopefully what I managed to construct will resemble that level of flavor so without further ado we're gonna try following this I'm gonna move you back to where you were before I just thought this would be cuter for an intro and let's see what happens also I got a new oven today um, so now that we've disinfected the whole house to make sure that no man has brought any outside coronas into our house we're good to go also very important coffee because I'm tired okay So we have two main problems. The first is that I just read now that Britney Spears thinks she ran 100 meters in like six seconds, wow! thus knocking three seconds off Usain Bolt's world record. That's a whole other kettle of fish I don't feel like opening. Can of worms, I'm not really sure which one. The second problem is that Cheat usually has extremely descriptive videos showing every single step of every recipe. This one kind of feels like a throwaway. They probably just made the galette and wanted to share and in doing so made me want galette but also didn't help. So I'm gonna read the instructions. Start by mixing a cup of warm water with a quarter teaspoon of dry yeast and a quarter teaspoon of sugar. Mix and wait until they get frothy. Then use a mixer to start adding plain flour and a teaspoon of melted butter. Keep adding flour until it's a rough, dry mix. Cover and let it rest for an hour, then open thinly, ideally with a pasta maker. That's not happening. And then just cut it out. So it seems like an extremely simple recipe, which means I'm definitely gonna mess it up. So let's start with the water, yeast and sugar mix. How many milliliters in a cup? It says warm water, so I'll just use the water I boiled uh, for my coffee and add some cold water to it. Professional. To anyone who thinks this show isn't professional, excuse me. Carl. Carl. We had yeast, eh? <sighs> Found it. It doesn't say how long to wait, so I'm just gonna stop filming instead of doing this for like half an hour and we'll be back soon. Voice over Chucky's back. So here I was looking for my bowl and I was trying to recreate the moment from the last video where I was going, where bowl? Bowl? And then pour in the yeast and the water mix, add your flour and your teaspoon of melted butter, slowly and carefully watch that concentration on my face yes add your flour slowly start stirring it in i didn't have a mixer so i had to do it all by hand obviously i also need a thumbnail for the video so that's what's happening here and then you basically just need to keep on okay i'm annoying keep on adding flour slowly mixing it in until it becomes drier and drier and eventually gets extremely difficult to mix you may need to pause for a second to find out updates for the corona situation back home and then you get extremely annoyed when your boyfriend tries to ruin your shot without knowing you were filming are you filming of course i am in the absence of a pasta maker just roll it out really thin i did mine like just under half a centimeter and they turned out fine so that should work too i wasn't recording any of that audio F what you missed is me going hey everyone welcome back to my channel lads 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 i'm carl hating it he's walking out I I you. we interrupt this program to bring you an argument about how carl nearly killed me by adding too much chili to my gnocchi even though he pretends that he didn't do it on purpose and mine wasn't more spicy than his, none of us believe him. I, I specifically, specifically asked if you spiked mine didn't. because I knew you were being a petty sh**. I didn't. Just because I was playing COD with the lads. Hallelujah. Ah, copyright. Now, you have to punch holes in each and every one, four like a button. All right, so I've punched holes in all of these. This is the plan. So I'm gonna put these in the oven. Uh, I think it's like 240 something degrees Celsius preheated uh, and leave them there. 
The next batch, I have a bit of dough left. The problem I had with the old ones is that these taste a bit too plain. I'm gonna split this into three piles. I'm gonna mix the flavor into the dough and I think that's gonna help. And I don't think it's gonna f*** with the cooking too much. So that's the plan. These are going in the oven and I'll start doing the rest. Heck yeah, it's pyjama and ears time because it's been a while. In the meantime, I have um, made a quick dash to Tesco, literal dash, touched nothing, washed everything. Point is, I've done quite a few um, and I'm happy to report that the final product doesn't need to be filmed tomorrow during the daylight because that sound is glorious. So I have two kinds. The first kind is the kind I made at the beginning. Punched all the holes, as you can see. Oh, I have to go influenza. There we go. Oh yeah. When you snap them, they crack very nicely. My main issue is I'm not leaving them in the oven for long enough. I think I want to lower the heat and leave them longer because they have a nice crack but they're still slightly bready on the inside. Excuse me. The first batch I tested were way better because I overcooked them. So I need to make sure that um, I leave them in the oven for longer, maybe lower the temperature because 220 might be too much and they're burning. It's a brand new oven, so we don't really know. From taste testing, they're a bit plain. So if you're using them with like dips and stuff, lovely. So if you're doing this recipe, add salt. Also, I didn't do holes because I forgot in one of them. And <laughs> this is the result. So these boccini, happened because I forgot to puncture holes, which also, if you want to make them, they're very cute. They're very like, you know, ooh. That was a great crack. That's a crunch. Anyway, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this slightly easier than difficult episode. We're also on lockdown, so we're limited in our supplies. I'm not just gonna be like, I'm going to use 500 grams of almonds, as I am currently unemployed. Speaking of which, I will be doing another live stream very, very soon. Last one was super fun. Please get in touch if you tipped at the last live stream and I didn't manage to get to your like little reward to say thank you because I will be doing a video doing all of them. Hasn't happened yet, because despite, I'm just eating, very rude. Despite self-isolating in my own home for the safety of myself and others, I still, I'm overworking myself because obviously but yeah that's it for this video let me know what you'd like to see me make that small tea I'm just gonna keep eating my name has been Chucky Bartolo and will continue to be Chucky Bartolo and I will see you all very soon Mwah. don't catch that that don't catch that kiss corona etiquette thank you bye